fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty Hyo Silver, the Lone Ranger. Before this exciting adventure, a word from our sponsor. General Mills, makers of Cheerios, the oat cereal that's ready to eat, Betty Crocker mixes, and Wheaties, the breakfast of champions. Presents by special recording, The Lone Ranger. Say, I'll bet everyone in your gang loves a chocolate malt, right? Who doesn't? Well, here's a real treat you can plan. Sometime soon, invite the gang over for a chocolate malt. And then surprise them with a Betty Crocker chocolate malt cake mix cake. Imagine all the excitement when they taste their favorite flavor in a cake. A big, delicious, I think you're the best gang in the world kind of cake. You see, Betty Crocker has put real malted milk right in the mix. It's the first chocolate malt cake mix ever. And it's so easy, Mom will have fun baking it. Or you can bake one yourself. Just add water and two fresh eggs. That's all for a perfect cake every time you bake. Cake after cake after cake. It's guaranteed perfect by Betty Crocker of General Mills, Minneapolis. Bake up Betty Crocker's chocolate malt cake mix soon. It's the newest taste in cake. With his faithful Indian companion, Toto, the daring and resourceful masked rider of the plains led the fight for law and order in the early western United States. Nowhere in the pages of history can one find a greater champion of justice. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse, Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver. Let's go, big fellow. I'm Silver. Silver! Many people were shocked, and the news spread rapidly when a tall masked man and a stalwart Indian led an outlaw gang in an attack on a stagecoach near Sage Rock. Hey, you, driver, throw down the money box and make it fast. Hold on, mister, you can't It's get... not good, you argue. Oh. All right, you, you get up there and toss down the money box while the others line up with passengers. Ah. The settlers in the same territory were even more shocked a few days later when the masked man and Indian led their gang into the express office in Sage Rock. Make it fast, fellas. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, we got everything, boss. All right. Hurry up. Let's get out of here. Time after time, the masked man and the Indian successfully led their gang in a series of robberies and killings. The sheriff of Sage Rock met with his deputies early one afternoon in his office. He was saying, We'll keep trying to pick up their trail. But since we lost their trail at the river last night, we ought to go see if we're able to find it. That's what we'll do. Maybe we'll have better luck in daylight. Frankly, I believe they're hiding out close by. To get some of the townsmen to go along in a posse with us this afternoon. Sheriff, I've heard the men in town talking. They say if we catch that masked man and Indian, they're for stringing him up pronto. Yes, Lawman. It's up to us to let the law take its own course. Remember that. Be ready to help calm down any townsmen who might be riding with us if we do catch those outlaw leaders. Right, now go out and get some men together, and we'll all meet out front in half an hour. While the sheriff and his men were preparing to form a posse, the outlaws were gathered in a natural cave at the base of a cliff along the Brazos. A tall man who had ridden the white stallion was saying, Ma'am, I told you if you joined Keel and me, you'd make plenty. It seems like everybody in the territory is talking about the masked man in Redskin who led the game. Yeah, yeah, Keeler did a good job in getting the white stallion and a paint from his Indian friend. Yeah. You sure are ruining the reputation of that masked man as Indian friend and <laughs> sent you to prison two years ago. Yeah. The Lone Ranger and his friend Toto will have plenty of reason to remember Phil Berry. If what people are saying continues to spread, the time will come when they'll have to get clear out of Texas. (laughs) 
Late that afternoon, the Lone Ranger and Toto, who were passing through the territory on their way to pay a visit to the Padre at the mission, rang to a stop at a clearing back from the trail. Who's who? Easy, 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 This will make a good campsite, Toto. It's not far from Pedro. Ah. Now, King Masabi, yes. maybe while you fix lean to, it better me ride to town for supplies. All right, Toto. I'll have the camp ready by the time you get back. Me not be gone long. It's not far. He's big, Scout. He's big, Scout. Get him up. Come The sheriff and the large posse moved along the trail from town as they headed toward the river to take up their search for the outlaw gang. Well, they sure managed to keep hidden. So far, we haven't had a chance. Hey, Sheriff Monk. Come on, that Ben. Jump in Jupiter. Hey. The Indian on the paint hole. Let's run him down. Hold your fire, men. Draw your guns and we'll stop here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa. Whoa. Well, what's the idea, Sheriff? He might get away. He saw us as soon as we saw him. He keeps right on coming. It might be some sort of a trick. Uh, there's too many of us for him to pull any tricks. Reach, Indian. We got you covered. Oh, Scout. Oh, fella. Me not savvy gun. Are you going to reach or shall I make uh-huh. it? Me reach. Why you point guns? You're under arrest for robbery and murder. Me not rob or kill anyone. Well, let's swing him up right here. Yeah, that's what he's oh, doing. Now, oh, calm oh, down, all of you. I'm in charge here, and I say there'll be no hanging, savvy? Uh, Take his guns, Jim. All right. Yeah. I got him, Sheriff. Good. Now, a couple of you take this redskin and lock him in jail. Now, the rest of us will backtrack on his trail while it's still fresh. In that way, we ought to be able to find out where he come from. Good idea, Sheriff. Let's get after that mask somebody in the gang. Yeah. No, no, you wait. Wait. You make mistake. Him not with gang. Him Get go on you before you get a bullet in you. Now go on, head for town. Uh, get him up, Scout. Come on, get him. Get it. Get it. All right. Now we follow the trail this Indian left. Keep your guns handy and watch out for an ambush. Let's get going. Get up. Get up. Get up. After Toto left camp, the Lone Ranger cut a few saplings and gathered branches to make a lean-to. Within a short time, it was completed. He went to where Silver was ground-hitched and was about to remove the saddle when the great stallion raised his head and with ears pointed forward, he whinnied softly. <laughs> what is it, Silver? <laughs> something. I do too now. I would like several horses. Come, Silver, we're going to the gully back there until they pass. I use having them question my mask. Come on, let's go, fellow. Oh, Silver, hold on, hold on. I can see them through the trees. Looks like a posse. After they pass, out. Huh? They're stopping. Quiet, quiet, Silver. I don't understand this, Silver. There's no time for questions. we better leave while we have the chance and fast steady easy. All right, let's go, Silver. Oh, Silver! Momentarily taken by surprise, the men in the posse fired through the trees after the fleeing masked man and then started in pursuit. The Lone Ranger headed away from the direction of town until after losing the posse and covering his trail by riding some distance in a creek, he circled back toward Sage Rock. It was dark when he reached the edge of town. Oh, oh, oh easy, steady, big fellow. Easy now. We're safe enough now. That posse is hunting for us west of here. They must have Tonto in jail. We're going to town the back way and try to talk to him. Come on, Silver. Tonto, who had been locked in one of the cells in the back of the jailhouse, was puzzled by what had taken place. Suddenly, the Indian rose silently to his feet and turned toward the window as he heard a welcome whisper. Tonto, Tonto, keep us happy. Are you all right? Uh Uh-huh. Posse take guns and put me in here. Them say me killer. Them ask about mask man on white horse. Them say him killer. 
Them say we rob and kill with outlaw gang. Them gold cry find you. Rest the gang. Me not savvy. They came to the camp, but I got away. They're still hunting west of here. What do you make of all this, Tonto? Well, me listen. Deputy say, masked man on white horse and Indian on paint horse, lead outlaw gang that rob, kill. I see. That means the two who do lead the outlaws are imitating us. Ah. I'll talk to you again soon, Tonto. Adios. Adios. The Lone Ranger left the cell window and rode out into the hills a short distance from town. Then, finding a secluded spot, he pulled to a stop. Oh, no, oh, 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 oh. I'll get my disguise kit and a candle from the saddlebag. Opening one of the saddlebags, the masked man took out a candle and a makeup kit. Then, removing his mask, he carefully disguised his features. Then he rubbed silver with dirt and clay until the stallion's gleaming white coat became discolored and dull. Satisfied with the result, the Lone Ranger, now looking like a rancher, decided it was safe to return openly to town. Easy, steady, big fella. Move We'll continue our Lone Ranger adventure in just a moment. Sailor Sam is the smartest boy who ever shouted ship a high. He can weather any storm that blows. He's got gold power from Cheerios. Yes, he's got gold power. There he goes. <laughs> he's feeling his Cheerios. 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 Good old Cheerios. They got go. So nourishing because they're made from oats with minerals, vitamins, and proteins that your body needs. Yes, indeed. A bowl of Cheerios and milk really starts your day off right. Does all sorts of good things for your body. Helps you have strong bones and muscles, good red blood, and healthy nerves. So every morning, take on a bowl of Cheerios and milk for real go power. you like that wonderful toasted oat flavor, too. Downright delicious. Come to think of it, Cheerios is one of the tastiest muscle-building foods you can eat. Try Cheerios and you'll hear... He's feeling his Cheerios. Now to continue. The sheriff and posse followed the Lone Ranger for some time until once more they lost the trail at a creek. Oh, 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 oh. Meantime, the Lone Ranger, in his disguise as a rancher, reigned to a halt in front of the cafe in town. Oh, 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 For you, stranger? Oh, just a bit of information. Wonder if you can tell me when the stage from Rock Hill gets here. Well, let's see now. Seems to me it gets in around noon tomorrow. Uh, wait a minute, I'll make sure. Uh, say, Jim. Yeah, what do you want, Steve? Uh, the stranger here wants to know when the Rock Hill stage gets in town. Expecting someone on that stage, mister? Nope. Why do you want to know? Well, I could be expecting a shipment of cash. No. Oh. Well, it's due here at noon, just like I said. Oh, thanks. See, I've heard about an outlaw gang around here lately. I hope that shipment comes through all right. We caught one of them outlaws, got him in the jailhouse. The sheriff and posse's out on the trail of the others right now. Oh, good. I'll go at the hotel and wait for the stage to get here. Good night. Good night, Good night. The Lone Ranger left the cafe and, crossing the street, stood in the shadows. Soon he saw a figure come out of the cafe and mount at the hitch rack. It was the outlaw, Red, dressed as a cowhand and wearing a broad-brimmed hat. Hmm, maybe he's the one I was hoping to find. Worth taking a chance anyway. Little big fella. Come on, Silver. For some time, the Lone Ranger followed the outlaw in the bright moonlight. When Red finally entered the shallow part of the Brazos River and headed cautiously upstream... The Lone Ranger stopped on the bank and watched. Oh, oh easy. Easy now. Hmm, turning in toward the bank now. It's too steep for him to come out there. That means there must be a cabin under the cliff or perhaps a cave of some sort. Come on, Silver. Instead of going upstream after the outlaw red, the Lone Ranger swung around and rode back toward the trail to town. Once more, he found a secluded spot near a creek where he stopped and brushed the clay from Silver's coat. 
Then, putting on his mask, he mounted again and continued toward town. Within a short time, he stopped on the edge of Sage Rock and looked down the main street. Oh, oh, oh easy, said a big fellow. Mm. All those horses in front of the jail mean that the posse is returning. Well, my plan works. Those outlaws should soon be caught. Come on. Meantime, in the sheriff's office, several of the men who had ridden with the posse were talking over the events of the day. Uh, too bad that masked man got away from us. Don't seem right we should get so close and then have him escape. Now, he and the gang will find a new camp. Hey, what's that? It's the masked man on the white horse. He's alone. Let's get after him, man. Hey. Hit leather. Steady there. Get up there. Meanwhile, Red had gone to the hideout cave. He told Phil Berry and the others what he had overheard in the cafe. The stranger said he expects a big money shipment on the Rock Hill stage. Good. <laughs> With them having that Indian in jail and thinking it's Keeler, the sheriff won't expect us to pull a hold up. We'll ride the trail toward Rock Hill and meet that stage. Now, it's better if we meet it a long way from Sage Rock. Then we'll get out of this territory for good. I figure they'll hang the Indian they have in jail. Well, come on. We'll pack our saddlebags and we'll start out. Let's get busy. Right. Come on, boy. When the Lone Ranger rode out of the town with the sheriff and posse trailing him, he kept out of range of their guns but didn't try to lose them. He galloped toward the river. And when he reached it, easy, boy, easy. headed silver into the shallow water. He rode upstream until he saw a heavy growth of bushes a short distance below the entrance to the outlaw's cave. Turning Silver shoreward, the Lone Ranger left the water and, pushing through the bushes, stopped behind them. Go, oh, Silver, go. Oh. Oh, the posse will soon be along. I'm bound to find the outlaws hide out a little further upstream. <coughs> quiet, fellow, quiet. There comes the posse now. Watching from his hiding place, the Lone Ranger saw the posse come into view. The moon was bright, and it was easy to see. As they passed in the water, the masked man could hear their voices. Hey, Sheriff, look up ahead on the west wing. It looks like a cave opening there. As the Lone Ranger watched, the posse neared the cave. Then suddenly he heard shots. by the deep shadow as the Lone Ranger heard the approaching hoofs of Phil's horse. He realized the outlaw leader would pass within a few feet of where he was hiding. As the masked outlaw was about to pass, the Lone Ranger charged forward on Silver. Oh, Silver. The great horse Silver galloped forward and swung alongside Phil Berry's horse. Taking the outlaw completely by surprise, the Lone Ranger reached out and dragged him from his saddle. Are you? The two men fell from their saddles and fluttered to the ground. Get to your feet. Well, I'll fix you further. Oh, yes. Yeah. The outlaw, in a rage, began slugging wildly. The Lone Ranger, remaining cool-headed, waited his chance, then swung with a right and a left to the jaw. I'll settle this right now. Yeah, that man's got all the others at the cave, Sheriff. Now we get this one out. Now, wait a minute, Sheriff. Here's the man you want lying on the ground. Hey. They're both masked, and, and there's two white stallions. Also. I think you'll find the Indian partner of this outlaw leader back there in the shadows. Oh, I did shoot the man with this outlaw, but the Indian is already in jail. You have the wrong Indian in jail. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, look here, Sheriff. Here's a wounded Indian. He's the one that started to escape with the masked man. He rode this paint horse. Hey, what is this? Two tall masked men, two white stallions, and two paint horses. It's obvious, Sheriff. The masked outlaw on the ground and the wounded Indian were imitating us. You better take all of them. After all, you're wearing a mask, mister. Maybe this will explain who I am, Sheriff. A bullet. 
shines the moonlight like silver. It is silver. Uh, silver bullet, you see? Hey, Sheriff, the marshal in Eagle Rock told me the masked hombre who rode to uphold the law carried silver bullets. Then you must be that man, mister. That's right. And the Indian you have in jail is my friend Tonto. I'll remove that outlaw's mask and see if we know him. Say, he looks familiar. That's Phil Berry, notorious outlaw. My Indian friend Tonto and I helped put him in prison. Then that accounts for all this. Barry got an Indian, then got a white stallion and a paint, so they could lead that gang and bring this this credit on you, mister. No, you mean not to blame. Phil Berry, him tell me what to do. You'll do a lot more talking when we get you to jail, Indian. Mister, I'll send a deputy ahead right now to let your Indian friend out of jail. Good. I'll go along with him, Sheriff. Well, I'm glad this mix-up is straightened out. For a while, it really had me worried. Yeah. And now this territory will be able to rest easy with that gang of killers caught. I'm sure we'll meet again sometime, Sheriff. Adios. Goodbye. 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 You, Indian. Speak up. Who is that masked hombre uh, your friend Phil Berry wanted to get back at? Him fellow who ride for law with Indian friend Tonto. Him called Lone Ranger. Copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated is produced by Trendle Campbell Muir Incorporated. The part of the Lone Ranger is played by Brace Beamer. Your announcer, Fred Foy. Listen to the Lone Ranger brought to you by special recording Mondays through Fridays at this same time.